Hey Rainier Raptors, Cadet Mitchell here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fold your clothes as per the FTM guidelines. As you can see, I've got everything laid out here already for what we're going to be covering in this video. This is the t-shirt here, the PT shirt to be exact, but this will work with any sort of t-shirt you have. Next we've got the PT shorts, but this will work with any other shorts and underwear that you might have. Then we move on to the socks. These are the Coyote Brown OCP socks, but again, we'll work with any socks that you have. And then of course, last but not least, we've got the towel. Now this will work with not only smaller, but bigger towels, so this does scale. First article of clothing that I'll be covering is the t-shirt. Now you wanna start with the t-shirt folded away from you, and you're going to begin by folding the t-shirt in half, essentially making a line from the tags down to the bottom of the t-shirt and lining up the sleeves and the other side of the t-shirt accordingly. You're going to try and make everything as parallel and as uniform as possible um, and making sure that everything is flush, obviously adjusting your work as you go and making sure that you get out any sort of unnecessary wrinkles as best you can. Then what you're going to want to do is take the sleeves and fold them down on top of the shirt. This is going to create a uniform rectangular shape between the entire shirt and just making sure that you're adjusting as you go. Now essentially what you're gonna do from this step is fold it in half again. I decided to flip around as it was easier for me, but you're essentially gonna fold the side that you just folded the sleeves from up or over onto the other side, just like I showed you. Again, making sure that you're getting any sort of creases or anything out of the shirt. Now we're gonna line the shirt up properly with the US Air Force symbol facing down, and you're gonna begin rolling. Rolling is a standard technique that you're gonna be learning to master. Uh, having a wingman to help you with your first beginning rolls is gonna be essential for getting them really tight and really nice looking. However, I am just running through this really quick. One thing I do want to mention is that you need to constantly be adjusting the roll to ensure that nothing is sticking out of the sides and that you have a completely flat and uniform roll. As you can see, we're all done here. Everything is completely flat and the US Air Force logo is clearly visible. Next up, we'll be tackling the PT shorts. You wanna start by having the waistband and logo away from you or towards the surface that you're folding on, and then you will want to fold the legs of the shorts up and make them uniform with the waistband. And like I said, this works with both PT shorts or any other civilian clothing that is shorts or underwear. Then you're gonna to wanna to fold the excess in to essentially meet the ending line of the waistband. Do this on both sides. And then once you have that done, you're going to want to start folding in thirds. Once this is complete, the PT shorts are completely folded properly. You should have no excess coming out of the bottom and the waistband should all line up perfectly. Alrighty, next up is the easiest to learn and the hardest to master, it is the socks. Now what you wanna do is start with these as flat as you can possibly get them, and then lay one on top of the other, leaving about an inch and a half to two inches between the ends of the socks. Now we're gonna start rolling, and you want to make sure that you are stretching these as far as you possibly can. Having a wingman here to help you is going to be the most crucial bit for the socks. However, again, it is not required, but it certainly is nice to have. When rolling the socks, you do not have to pay as much of attention as to the sides as you would on something like the t-shirt as they will become basically unseeable in the next step. Now this is our next step. We're going to be taking the opening end of the sock and then folding it over the entirety of the already pre-rolled sock. What this is going to do is prevent the sock from unrolling and give us a nice ball shaped sock. As you can see here, I had a little bit too much on the end, which I will take care of momentarily. Alrighty, here's our completed product. Sock is completely folded and properly stretched. However, we do still have some tags here that you need to definitely watch out for. These are some things that you'll only spot when you fold the sock properly. But as you can see, the front end of the sock has a smiley face and that's not how you know you did it right. After taking care of the tags, the sock looks good. We can go over it with the lighter real quick to ensure that anything loose is cut down. 
and there we go. As I mentioned in the intro of the video, the towel method of folding and rolling is scalable. So here I have a much larger bath towel. However, I will be demonstrating on a much smaller bath towel. Just know that you can use this on any size towel as long as it is a rectangular shape when unfolded. So the first thing you're going to want to do is completely unfold the towel so it is nice and flat. Try to get all the wrinkles out. Obviously, this is an old towel, so all the wrinkles will still be present, but get as much out as you can. You'll start by folding in, ha in and half hot dog style, straightening everything out as best you can, then folding it in half again. And then we will start the rolling process, just making sure that you're straightening out all of your edges and your corners especially, as they can oftentimes become curved over as the towel ages. Once you start rolling, this method is also very difficult to master but very easy to learn. The towel will naturally try and create creases and curves that you will have to take care of. But once you start rolling and get it going, it should be pretty easy. One method I like to do is to put my hand out in front of my rolling so that way I can straighten everything out as I go. However, it not always is perfect. So finding the best method for you is what's going to be the most beneficial. Keeping everything uniform on the edges is important during the towels step, but it is not crucial or as important as it is for t-shirts. Alrighty, once you get to the end, you'll have something that looks pretty much like this. You can go in and adjust the sides as you need to, depending on how well you've done. And again, having a wingman here to help you is definitely a nice addition to your tool set. Alrighty, so as you can see, we've got everything folded here just like in the intro. We did the t-shirt. We did the PT shorts. We did the socks with our little smiley face. And we did the towel. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this folding method, I can quickly show you why it is very important to learn it. Here I have a standard civilian t-shirt, very similar in shape and build to the PT shirt. However, when I do my normal forming te folding technique, which is just like this, you can clearly see the size difference. It's much smaller to fold and roll it and much more compact. Same with socks. Most socks are never folded like this. They're instead folded like this. Here I have a pair of dress socks and they are folded in the standard folding style for socks. However, this style is extremely loose and while it might be fine to sit in your drawer, it is not fine for when traveling as things can become undone. This sock method is very solid and ensures that the socks do not come undone. Keeps them clean. Alrighty, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching and feel free to reach out to me or private message me with any questions, comments, or concerns you might have. Obviously, these methods can be found by referring back to this video, but you can also find them in the FTM and with several other videos online. So if you ever forget, be sure to check there. Thanks.